Hello and welcome to the table, Baldur's Gate and D&D friends. We have a special mod showcase today of a very powerful modded warlock spell, summoning an undead dragon to cause a zombie apocalypse. For some added context, this is a follow-up video to my previous video showcasing the Dread Overlord modded warlock subclass, which to summarize in that video, we went through all 12 levels of the Dread Overlord warlock but this is a more special, specific video dedicated to the mod author for their hard work in creating this unique and stylized class for all of us Undead and Necromancer fans. Now, I will be leaving the link below in the comments, the pinned comments specifically, of my uh, longer video there, which is more in-depth, goes over the specifics of the leveling, the class, and also I'll leave the link to the mod uh, as well for you to download on your free time after watching this video too. But today in this video, specifically I'll be showcasing and commentating on the final 12th level of the Dread Overlord Warlock class with the Undead Dragon Patron, uh, which roleplay and lore-wise is your character's patron god, and this aspect of the Dread Overlord is literally summoning your god onto the battlefield to lay waste to your enemies. Since that previous video was uh, the in-depth 12 level showcase, uh, um, this one will be slightly shorter, but I really want to give you a more visual representation on how powerful this Dread Overlord can be at a full 12 levels, both with the new talents learned in Stealing Souls to fighting alongside your Dread Dragon God. Link to the full mod, like I said, it will be in the pinned comments below, and also I do highly recommend checking out this mod for yourself and giving it a go. There is also a video I made specifically with multi-classing. I also want to hear in the comments uh, below your uh, character multi-classes and also uh, if you went the full 12 levels uh, and experience uh, um, all there is with this class or if you decided to mix and match some of the other base classes or modded classes with this one. Let's get a nice, a genuine discussion going, everyone, on uh, your character builds, because really, I just love hearing how everyone specs their characters, uh, whether it's for optimization, specific playstyles, or simply just role-playing a character and not worrying too much about min and maxing. As a side note, this makes the Warhammer nerd in me insanely happy, as I am a fan of the Elves slash Eldar, and they themselves are known to summon their gods onto the battlefield alongside them. Well, they were known to do that in the ancient days too. And this is just a really incredible modded feature that feels as though it's more than worth it to progress in all 12 levels of the Dread Overlord class without multi-classing. It's a genuine reward for you to stick through with this class as well. And yes, I know there are many players out there that absolutely love multi-classing. I totally respect that. In fact, I'm one of those players as well that loves to mix and match their classes. But please hear me out on this, everyone. This is a subclass that is worth giving a shot in all 12 levels for this ultimate ability to make you feel like the ultimate necromancer in Baldur's Gate 3. Now, the mod description at level 12 is as follows. Profane Intervention, Aspect of the Dread Overlord. You may call upon your patron to aid you in battle. An Aspect of the Dread Overlord intervenes, dealing damage in a wide area and itself until it is spent. Night of the Living Dead attacks the aspect attacks uh, inflicts enemies with Night of the Living Dead, which curses them to rise again as undead minions in service of their new dread overlord. The aspect cannot be controlled, nor are the undead minions spawned by the aspect. With Dreadward, the necromancer and their allies within a range of the aspect are endowed with unholy vigor, gaining resistances to weapon and necrotic damage. With Aura of Despair, enemies within a large range of the attack are stricken with despair, suffering disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. Essentially, once you reach level 12, you become the favored cultist of your undead dragon lord, and he sends his favor in the full Night of Dread indeed. We'll be showcasing soon the aspect of the Dread Overlord with these goblins you meet in Act 1 to truly demonstrate the power at your hands. And yes, I know this is a pretty early game, but at the same time, I feel like this is a good uh, scene and also a level for you to real to just showcase like how powerful this is and uh, essentially like 
A very easy way to get your own personal undead army. I also really want to give focus on some of the other unique spells uh, of the soul mechanic, which you gain from stealing the souls of the recently deceased or killed in battle and binding them uh, to your armor to increase uh, your armor rating uh, slash AC, but there's more to them than just that. With Invoker of Spirits Soul Harvest, harvest the souls of the dead and bind them in a protective soul shield to invoke the spirit's wrath against your enemies. You create a shield of souls that improves your armor class. You may capture additional souls from the corpses with Commit Corpse or Reap the Dead, or from the mortal husk of the weakened enemies with Reap the Dying. Command the tormented souls in your soul shield to spook your enemies, protect allies via ghostly apparition, haunt the battlefield, or harass foes misch as mischievous poltergeists. And specifically for more details, Haunt has you convert your spirits into shadow wraiths on the battlefield for 10 turns, allowing them access to shadow teleportation and darkness cloak, also allowing themselves to literally hide and pop up anywhere. Poltergeist summons spirits to literally move and manipulate the world around you, sometimes even pushing enemies over to fall prone and leaving them more vulnerable to being hit by you or the other party members. And last but not least, Phantasm is essentially magic missile uh, in the necromancer form, and it pretty much never misses. All of which provides you many different options for your necromancer or warlock, rather than just simply wading into battle swinging your flail or other melee weapons at your disposal. And specifically for my personal playstyle, and for role-playing a summoner, I personally love using Haunt. It complements uh, some of my previous build videos, such as the Witch King of Angmar summoning the souls as Barrowites to drain the life from your enemies. And really, Haunt plays into the overall strategy of the undead to overwhelm your enemies in a sea of ghosts and zombies through a war of attrition. Alright friends, on to the ultimate summon for this class, the Dread Overlord Dragon. This is a spell you receive at level 12, and to test it out, and to see the full effects, uh, we're going to unleash it on this small goblin army here. Really, they don't know what's about to hit them. As we can see with the effects, most of the enemy army is not only wiped out, but completely turned into undead thralls to serve our, our rising necromancer, and to be uh, uh, unleashed to create and infect uh, others uh, for even more dread zombies adding uh, more uh, bodies to lit yeah, literally more uh, zombie manpower to our army. It's a vicious cycle to say the least. And that's it for this video on Mod Showcase, friends. I do know it's a tad bit shorter compared to some of my previous videos on character builds, but like I said in the beginning, this is uh, one of those videos I want to dedicate to the mod author. Please check out their channel and also Give their mod a shot too. I'm really looking forward to more uh, mods and also any other classes that they have planned for the future. And if you love talking shop about all things D&D and Baldur's Gate, hit that like and subscribe button and I'll save you a seat at the table.